how everyone is doing well uh, I was waiting for this mod to come out for quite some time this is the F-15D the Israeli version uh, made by the IDF mod project I'm really excited about this mod uh, because it's an F-15 I love F-15s you guys know it and because it also provides the missiles that we don't have in DCS and sadly we have them only uh, via mods so we got the derbies and the pythons here the python 5 is a very capable missile and the derby uh, so I've heard as well uh, but now I'm kinda use it uh, I'm gonna use it as an amram because my mission today is to fight against four MiG 29s One of them is a person and he leads a three ship AI. That person is a Gainful 22 and uh, yeah, he leads a, a three ship of uh, 29. They got um, all kinds of missiles. They got the extended range uh, Fox 1 and extended range Fox 2. Those extended range Fox 2 are really dangerous because in, at uh, the ranges that they can shoot, you will not get a missile notification and it's, uh, you know, you need to be on the edge of your seat to, to defend those missiles while dropping chaff and flares and making those maneuvers. So it's kind of interesting. I love I love uh, protecting those, defending those missiles. I, I like I like the challenge. Anyway, I got uh, all four of them here, but I can lock only three because they're all bunched up. So I think in this first engagement, I'm going to shoot only three missiles. Which is, which is, uh, it's good, it's good, I don't know the damage that I'm gonna do, I hope, I can splash all three, obviously, there we go, they got a missile out, I think they locked me in STT mode, that's why I get a missile notification that far away, I'm gonna push it to, uh, 20 miles, so I'm not gonna defend that missile right away, uh, because I want to increase the lethality of my missiles. So that, this is basically my game plan and my mission is to stop them at all costs. So if we're going to go to the merge, we're going to go to the merge. I'm not going to go cold if I'm out of Fox 3s. I'm just going to shoot all three of them right now. I got three uh, Fox 3s in the air. Now I'm going to defend a little bit violently to have a full nose down attitude to gain the speed that I want while I uh, try to maintain the lock. If I'm going to break the lock, I don't care. I'm going to I'm going to do some uh, more violent maneuvers to defend. Yeah, broke the lock. Okay. I'm going to relock. Okay. I'm going to do something interesting now. I'm going to climb a little bit up and I'm going to give him an offset Fox 3. In parameters here because I'm so fast. Fox 3. This is a really good defensive and offensive maneuver. If you can shoot like that, basically you're going to push him defensive if you recommit it on you, while you have a slight turn to go perfectly cold. Which means like you got the angles, so in the time spectrum, you're kind of winning, right? Because you push him uh, defensive while you're already kind of offensive and defensive at the same time, which will shorten the time of me recommitting. This is the point of that uh, shot. This is a really smart shot. I would recommend you guys to uh, practice that because it, it saved me a bunch of times. And it's a really good one. I'm gonna scan a little bit with my Fox 2s, but I'm still gonna manually lock the targets. I don't want to limit myself to 10 miles with the auto acquisition mode, the vertical scan. So I'm going to find someone here on radar, the first one that I'll find and I'll engage him with a Fox 2. The pythons have a, uh, a good range on them. There we go, we got one, but I'm locked, Fox 2. Fox 2 on the way, I'm breaking to the side, I think he have a missile out on me, so I'm dropping all kinds of countermeasures here. There we go. Yeah, this is a missile track. Uh, splash. All right. This is 
his missile by uh, smoke over there. Now I'm gonna look for the other. That's the same guy. Yeah, that's the same guy. So I'm gonna look for the other guy. Looks like he's uh, above me, I think. Maybe he's not behind. The RWR shows that he's behind me. I think we're coming on. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. Need to emerge here with him. I hope he's the only one. Oh, almost had it there. I hope he's the only one, so I'm keep. Uh, I'm gonna keep uh, defending myself with countermeasures. Oh, guns! I was too close for missiles there. But now he's extending away. That's gonna be a Fox 2 kill. I'm still dropping countermeasures. I don't know if he's got his buddy uh, defending him. Got him locked. Fox 2. And... Splash. RWR looks clean. Nice. RWR looks clear. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back home. All right, let's have our attack view here. Uh, here I got Gainful coming in, with, and he has his uh, AI four ship, and that's me right here. Hi, and trying to get fast. I want to launch uh, at Mach one plus. Uh, so here we are. They're coming. Uh, he gave him some order to. Uh, engage or either change their formation I don't know we'll see shortly but the thing is they were pretty close so I could lock only three of them at the most I couldn't get uh, a lock on the fourth ship uh, if I could I think uh, their defensive maneuvers will look pretty different let's speed it up here a little bit that's me dropping my tanks and he already is defensive I think he's sending his AI to engage me uh, so he can clean up uh, later which is a <laughs> look like a sacrifice of some sort. <laughs> this is me right here, and let's speed it up. Yeah, he got a missile out, and I have my all of my three missiles out. Looks like they're going to different targets. Uh, let's watch this. This is his missile, and yeah, those missiles are fairly easy to defeat. Although I think it came pretty close, but let's. Watch the whole scenery here. I think I pretty much defeated here. Yeah, it looks like it doesn't track anymore; it just goes straight. So, uh, if that's if that a notch, I'm not sure. But let's see what happens here. So I got one right here. Uh, one of the AI gainful is right here, down below, and looks like all of my missiles are actually going to those two. Maybe one on gainful. That was a really close. That was a really close miss here. Let's speed it up. Yeah, that was pretty close. Oh no. Well, almost past three. Anyway. Yeah. So two missiles are coming. That I noticed that that uh, Derby is doing something interesting when we break the lock. He just climbs up. See, just climb up. Okay, one hit here on that guy and the other guy alright so we got two splashes alright so fairly simple at this point and let's go back a little bit because I want to show you this so let's go back here in my defensive maneuver 
Uh, I didn't see this missile. I didn't see him. I just uh, defend and I, I think they just, uh, you know, happened. But this is the offset launch that I was talking about. So you see my angles are already, you know, I have less of a turn to, uh, to go cold. Let me try to have somewhat of a understanding here. Alright, so I launched like that. Okay, this is actually a good opportunity. We got... Uh, we got him recommitting here. And he needs to do this. I'm flying like this, right? And he is recommitting here. Alright. Now, this is where I wanted to show you. Hold on. Let's watch this. Let me just erase those. So mind those angles that I'm just uh, going like that. And you see, as I launch the missile, I already have... This is my offensive move, so to speak. So my missile is on the way to our target that had been recommitted. Now I got those two splashed. But now, the missile is already like... You see, already like more than half away uh, to engage one of them. And they're just recommitting, so they need to pick me up on radar. And then they need to uh, to obviously engage. But then their missile is going to be too uh, far away when my missile is going to present a major threat to them, to them. If it makes any sense. Because I already, you see, I'm already going cold at that point. The missile is halfway in. The missile is already above him right here. Let's watch this missile. So he need to, uh, this is gainful right here. He need to defend violently from that missile. I'm actually surprised that the missile didn't got him. I think this is a little bit of a lucky here. I don't know why the missile just lost track there. But you see, this is what's so good about this uh, counter-defensive maneuver. I love this uh, maneuver. I learned it lately, and it's, uh, it's a pretty strong move. And it will be especially helpful if you got, like, let's say you're fighting the Hornet, and you got your HMD, so you can lock the targets visually while maintaining the correct angles. Yeah, the missile just picked him up, tried to intercept, and then, yeah, maybe it went for the wreckage here, I'm not sure, but lost the track, so. His AI buddy got a missile out, he maintaining high altitude, this is good. He missed right here, and I'm going totally cold. Fairly close to the ground here, and now, let me just slow it down a little bit. Now he has, a, oh, two missiles. <laughs> I was dropping chaff and flare like crazy because I know they have those uh, IR extended range, which is, yeah, there we go, well, 2070T, and yeah, so I defended uh, pretty aggressively from those missiles, they were pretty dangerous, looked like that missile is biting to the chaff or flare, and uh, the other one also, but I managed to recommit already, this is all of this that just happened is only because of that one missile that I sent right here. All of it. It's because of that one. I already pushed him defensive, and now I'm already recommending what he'll, he is still defensive here. He just saved himself, I don't know how. Uh, I think I got a missile notification from that one, I'm not sure. But then I just do, did a, uh, almost a 360 here, and gave him another one, and just go back cold. Now, when I'm firing a Fox 2, obviously I don't need to maintain any sort of a lock, but this Python missile is fairly dangerous. And here I splash Gainful. So, this is the part where I, uh, I was kind of kind of losing SA. I needed to uh, check for the other guy. It went high. I know he was high, but he was higher than me. He shot a missile here, which I uh, defended because, you know, I started flaring and chaffing right about here, even before he launched his missile, right? Oh, actually, almost at the same time. Because I knew he was somewhere. And I saw the RWR notification from behind, so I was pretty worried. Then I climbed up. I don't know how I defeated this missile. That was a pretty close launch. I think more luck involved here. But here is where I saw him cross my uh, my tail, right here. Uh, where you can see it in the video that he just crossed. And then we, uh, you know, enter the merge. And here I try to take some gunshots. Slow it back down. Uh, one circle fight, I don't know why, uh, maybe to jam that Wes, that, that was my first instinct, but uh, I think I, 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 tr I actually thought about getting a gun kill here. I missed, uh, but that was pretty close, and here he extended away, he was really fast, what speed? 
Oh, not that fast, but fairly fast, and I remember he was lighting his burners. And we have a good distance between us. Vertical scan, got him locked, Fox 2. And yeah, the Python is a, a good enough missile, so he will not bite for those flares. And splash. So we got uh, two splashes from, uh, from those Derbys and two splashes from those Fox 2s from those Pythons. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, I think it was matched because of sheer numbers, but uh, you know, technology-wise, I had the upper hand. I had those Derbys on those Pythons. Uh, but n numbers, yeah, they definitely had the numbers. Uh, Alright, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.